Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate OLE, or Object Linking and Embedding, using PowerPoint 2016. In the slide on my screen, I want to insert a chart that shows some data from a statistical report. So what I'm going to do is switch over to the Excel spreadsheet, and on this spreadsheet all I want to do is insert this chart. I don't want any of this other data over here that created the chart. What I do want is just the chart. So I'm going to place my mouse anywhere in the gray area. If I put it right on the chart itself and click, it chooses everything but sometimes it just picks up the chart, the pie chart and not the rest of it. So if I want the whole thing for sure I usually just click anywhere near the corners. So once I have it selected, what I'm going to do is copy this chart. So now that I've copied it to my invisible clipboard, I can switch back over to PowerPoint and point to the slide where I want to paste it in. I'm going to right click to get the shortcut menu and after you have copied something, when you right click the shortcut menu offers you several different pasting options. The first one is if you want to just paste in an embedded uh, chart rather than a linked chart. Okay, That embedded is the E in OLE. So the first option is I can use the destination theme, meaning that the pie chart will uh, take on the colors of this particular slideshow rather than its original colors and it will Im be embedded into this slide. The next option is to do the same thing but instead of changing the colors of the chart to match with the slideshow it keeps the source formatting meaning it stays it keeps with the same colors it originally had in that Excel spreadsheet. The next option is to link the chart and use the destination colors. So it's going to adopt the colors of the slideshow and it will remain linked to the Excel file. And we'll talk about that in just a, a few minutes. But the link, linking it, is the L in OLE. The next option, it does the same thing. It links the data, links the chart so that it re keeps a bridge or a bond with its original file and it also maintains its original colors that were used in Excel. And finally the last option is to just insert the chart as a picture and nothing more, just a static picture. So the, the choice I'm going to make now is to use the destination theme and embed the workbook or the chart rather. So I'm going to click to choose that option. So here it is, here's my chart, and it has been embedded, which means if I double click on it, it will give me options over here on the right, and also up top here in the ribbon on the top, to make changes to the chart. Now any changes or editing that I do to this chart now in PowerPoint will only affect the chart here in PowerPoint. It won't have any effect at all on the Excel file, and if I uh, by the same token, if I go back to the Excel file and make a change to this file, let's say I delete a whole bunch of data. I'll just delete wheat. I'll take that out. Notice the change in the pie chart. Wheat has been removed and so it adjusted for that. But if I go back to the PowerPoint slideshow, the chart has not adjusted to that. It stays the same as it did when I first embedded it. That's the difference between linking and embedding. If you embed the chart, any change you make to the original Excel file won't be reflected in the PowerPoint slide where I embedded it. However, if I had linked it, it would reflect that change. And that's the next thing I'm going to show you. So I'm going to delete this chart out of the slide. And I'm going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to undo the deletion of that column. I'm going to do a control and the letter Z for zebra and that will instantly undo what I did. So now again I'm going to copy this chart and I'm going to go back 
to the PowerPoint slideshow and this time when I paste it in, I'm going to right click. This time when I paste it in I'm going to use a linking feature. I'm not going to embed it, I'm going to link it. And I am going to keep the source formatting. I'm going to maintain the original colors of the chart. And this time it's going to be linked to the Excel file and you'll see what that means in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and click to link that. Okay, so now I have my chart and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we can see it better. Now, if I go back to my Excel spreadsheet, let's say a week later or two weeks later, somebody decides I have to change the data here. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I did before. I'm going to eliminate the whole wheat column just to make it a very large change so it's easy to see. So I'm going to select the C column where wheat is. I'm going to delete it. Watch what happens to the pie chart when I delete that column. Okay, wheat has been removed from the pie chart and it's just down to the three items. Corn, which is the largest piece, uh, fruits, and vegetables. So now I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint slide and notice that the pie chart here reflects the same change. It changed automatically because this version of the chart has been linked to the Excel file. So any change I make to the Excel file will automatically reflect here in the PowerPoint slide version of the chart. I'm going to go back to Excel and I'm going to undo that deletion of the wheat so it has put, been put back into the chart and now if I go back to the PowerPoint slide it also reflects that change. Now the important thing to remember about linking is that the two files that are linked must remain together in the same location, like in the same folder on the same hard drive or flash drive. Otherwise, if you move one of them, one of the files that are linked, it will break the link and it will no longer reflect any automatic updates. So that's the, the trick between object linking and object embedding.